there's nothing that's gonna ever compare to going to Ghana as a student. In preparation for Ghana, we need to prepare for the trip because there's so many things that even me as someone who has gone on a trip prior has to know and learn about what it's gonna be like, how you're gonna feel, how to deal with those feelings while you're there. I experienced going to the Amina Castle, which I've been there twice prior to that, but each time is different. As a student who is constantly learning about herself, developing herself, and trying to become the best version of myself, I'm always looking to take a different aspect of that castle, of the history, of who I am, and develop it into the skills that I'm learning here in America. To have the hand on in the smells of the castle. It's a whole different way of learning that you can't get just sitting in a classroom. The study abroad program pulls you out of that element of just sitting and actually doing. That's how we learn. Anybody could afford to travel. If you go in with a mindset that you cannot raise the money because of challenges, you know, you're setting yourself up for failure. Certain materials that we're used to, going out, getting your nails done, the shoes, the movies, that is not important. The benefits of that trip to Africa, to Ghana, going home, to learn about yourself and learn about your ancestors is gonna push you through your whole life. This is how we evolve. If we don't have that experience, we will never know who we are. I have learned so much about myself and how I see the world and how I communicate with my peers, with my family and with the environment around me. It's like a rebirth. You're never the same after that. The way that I study and internalize information has completely changed. Where I'm at now in San Francisco State, I'm able to ingest the information that's given to me through those experiences through Ghana.